With the release of DV5 Public Alpha, users can now start to see what we at Elegant Themes have been working on behind the scenes. DV5, a major foundational update, has been redefined to be faster, more stable, and highly scalable to keep up with the future of WordPress. One of DV5's most exciting new aspect is its redesigned Visual Builder interface, which is more user-friendly and faster. Whether you are a seasonal DV user or new to the platform, the quicker, more intuitive Visual Builder will help you create websites in fewer steps with faster loading time. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through how you can download DV5 Public Alpha and we will take the DV5 for a spin to see what's new in it. So if that sounds interesting, then let's dive in. So let me show you how we can set up DV5 Public Alpha on our WordPress setup and then I'll walk you through the interface of DV5. So let's dive in. So in order to download DV5, we need to first visit elegantthemes.com forward slash DV5. So this is going to take you to this DV5 launching page. And from here, we can click on download the alpha. So let's click on this. And once you click on this, it's going to take you to your members area in Elegant Themes account. And here we have an option for download DV5 alpha. And this is going to download the zip file of DV5 public alpha theme. And of course, it is not recommended to use it on a live website. Make sure you first create a staging or a demo site and then try DV5 on it. And once the download is complete, we can now go back to our WordPress backend. And from here, we need to go to Appearance and then click on Themes. And here we can click on Add New Theme and then just upload our zip file here. And let's add our zip file here and then click on Install Now. Alright, so let's click on activate to activate our DB5 alpha theme. And now we are here to activate our license. So let's click on this. And once we have activated the license, we are back on the DB dashboard. And from here, we can first go to DB5 migrator. So this is going to check if there is any compatibility issue between the DB5 and the previous version. But right now we are on a fresh WordPress setup, so there won't be any issue. We can directly go ahead and start using DB5. So for that, let's go to pages. So I'm going to start with this sample page here. So let's click on edit with DB. So this is how the DB5 visual builder is going to look like. And in order to give you a quick tour about this, let's go ahead and divide this into three different panels. First, we have the top panel, then we have the left panel here, and then we have the right hand side panel. So let's start with the top main panel first. So if we talk about this, let's start with the first icon here on the top left, which is page settings. If I click on this, it's going to open up a panel on the right hand side of my screen where I can edit all the page settings like page title, excerpt, feature image, background of my page, or we can move on to the next tab in this panel. We have design, so we can define the spacing. We can play around with the text color. And in the same panel, in the next tab, which is advanced, we can play around with custom CSS, visibility, and the position of our page settings. Just next to our page setting, we have this text here, which is actually the page title. So if you want to change your page title, you can simply click on this and start typing. So this is how you can enter any title here. And if we come back here in the page settings content tab, we can see the title updated here as well. Now moving ahead in our top panel, we have the responsive icons here. So right now we are in the desktop view mode. If you want, we can switch into a tablet view and then we can switch into a phone view as well. If I come back here in the desktop, Next, we have an option to define our custom breakpoint. So here we can define a particular size or resolution in which we want to see how our website is going to look. So let's say I enter here 1280 pixel. So this is how the layout is going to look in this particular size or resolution. So let me just go ahead and reset that. And after this, we have an option for zooming and zoom out. So we can zoom in or zoom out our panel here. And moving ahead, we have an option for light or dark mode. So we can switch between the light or the dark mode depending upon your convenience. And then we have an option for undo as well as redo. So you can control the page changes from here. And after that, we have an option for history tab. So if you click on this, it's going to show us all the actions performed on this particular page or layout. 
and we can jump on any action from here. So let's close this. Then we have an option for export or import. So if we click on this one, we can export this entire layout as our template. Or if in case you want, you can also import a template from your computer. Then we have an option for clear or deleting everything on this canvas. So if we click on this and confirm it as yes, it's going to delete everything on this page. But we don't want to do that. So let's go ahead and click on undo. So we are back with our layout. Then we have an option for add to library. So once we click on this, we can add this template or this layout into our DV library. So next we have an option for exit. So if in case you want to exit this DV visual builder and come back to WordPress dashboard, we can do that from here. Then we have an option for preview. If you click on this, it's going to open up a new window where we can see the preview or the live view of our layout. And of course, in the end, we have the save option to save all the changes we made on our page. So this is all about our top toolbar here. Now let's move on to our next panel and that is the left bar here. So starting with this plus icon here, which is add layout. So if you click on this plus icon, it's going to open the Divi library. And here we can choose any type of layout that you want. So no matter what kind of website you are trying to build, chances are you are going to find a layout for that in the Divi library. And if in case you won't find the exact match, I'm sure you will be able to find the one which looks really close, which you are trying to build. And then you can use the Divi visual builder to edit that layout. And of course, just like previous version, we have our categories, which we can filter. And then we have a search bar as well, which we can use to search for a specific layout. So if we close this, next up, we have an option for layers. So using this, we can jump around on any element or module on our layout. So this is going to give you all the page structure in form of layers. And if we close this, Next option, we have the wireframe view. If you click on this, it's going to open up a wireframe structure for the entire page layout. So if in case you want to make any changes using wireframe, you can do that from here. Let's close this. Now, next option we have is action icon on hover. Now, right now, this one is disabled. If I mouse over on any module on this page, let's say on this heading module, we won't be able to see any quick settings icon on the top. But if we enable this and then mouse over, we will be able to see the settings icon here. In the same way, we have next option that is parent action icon on hover, which means if we enable this, we will be able to see settings icons, not just for the current module, but we will also be able to see the settings icon for the parent module as well. Now moving next, we have X-ray view. So once this one is enabled, here we can see we have a black border added on all our modules. Let me scroll down a little bit. And now if I disable this option, the black border is gone. If I enable this, we see a black border added on all the modules. So this will be really helpful to get a quick glance of your structure of different modules. Or if in case you want to select any module, you can do this from here. Next up, we have the builder setting. If we click on this, it's going to open up this panel where we can view all the settings about the builder. So maybe we want to change the default view, the history intervals, and we can also change the default position of the modules as well. So maybe we can use this one or any option from here. And of course, in the end, we have our help option, which you can use to watch various video tutorials as well as the step-by-step -step guides. Now, next up is our right-hand side panel which consists of three tabs here. First one is content, then we have the design, and then we have the advanced settings that we can change. And the settings under each tab will get changed depending upon what element or module we have selected on our layout. Let's say if I select this image module here, we can see different content, design, and advanced option. And if I select this main row, so this is going to show me options related to this particular module. On the very top of this panel, we have breadcrumbs as well. So let's say I am on this module here. So using my breadcrumbs, I can see where exactly I am in my layout. And then I can go back and select the parent element. So if I click on this section here, it's going to take me back to the parent section and will show me all the settings about that. And after our right hand side panel, we have an additional panel, which is the quick access panel. So let's say if I am on this title here, I can go ahead and right click on this 
and see some most frequently used settings about this module. So here I can edit this heading, duplicate, delete, copy or copy module style as well and save this particular module to my library or save this to my TV cloud. Or I can simply click on go to layer to jump on to this exact layer in my layer structure here. And once again, I can click on anywhere on my page and access this quick settings panel. And we will have options depending upon what module we have selected. So make sure you go ahead and try DV5 Public Alpha today using the link given in the video description below. And if you find any bugs while using DV5, please report them through our support chat in the help tab in your members area. Your feedback helps us improve DV5. Along with that, you can find links to more DB5 resources in the video description below. So be sure to share your thoughts on DB5 Public Alpha in the comment section below. And make sure you like this video and share it with your friends and community. And for more WordPress and DB5 updates, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.